All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a Playmobil train set that I got used. This was set number 4010 called RC Cargo Train with Light, I believe. That's uh, the, the biggest consensus that I've gotten out of the online resources I've seen. The set came with two figures, but unfortunately I did not get the correct figures for this set. So I've just temporarily substituted in a couple that look similar to the correct ones, but you should check online for pictures of the correct figures. So I'm just gonna take these out for now. Certainly the main attraction of this set is this locomotive, which appears to be based upon a Bombardier Trax class, like an AC3 in the Deutsche Bahn uh, livery or, or color scheme. They've just substituted in PM instead of DB, but this is just a really cool looking train. It's got the, the double cab set up, so one cab at either end, so it doesn't need to turn around. It's a very common configuration in Europe, and it makes a lot of sense. This one did, did come with lights also, working lights, uh, which I believe, I believe was new as of the time that this was first released. Uh, I think that adding in the ability to have an LED light was was a new thing. They actually add a little little piece on the top of the, the powered section, the powered truck underneath that has connections to connect to lights in the body. Up top, the pantographs are able to be raised up, but it's just a single click up or down. You could also hyper extend that all the way back to get access to the cab section. There you see two seats and your primary engineer would sit right here. That's your main control area. And you see it had a nice sticker going across the front and a couple of handles that your figure would actually hold on to. This in the center is the antenna for the 27 megahertz AM motor block that's on just one end of this locomotive. The set came with just one car, this open top freight car with the extra large doors that open up on the side to allow you to get large pallets in there and also certain sizes of containers would fit in there. It's a nice color scheme that fits in with the locomotive without capturing too much of the red. So it's still going to look good, I think, with other locomotives pulling it along. And they have consistent uh, strakes, vertical strakes going all the way around it to represent the uh, little bit of corrugation in the steel there. Red base used to good effect. It's sometimes tough to pull off the, the red base look on rolling stock without making it look old, you know, or very classic and retro styled, but this looks pretty modern. Again, 27 megahertz AM RC control on this one. So this is your controller, forward and reverse. And this one came with the red crystal set. Set came with a good amount of track, enough for not only a full loop, but also a full spur that's connected to the main line at both ends. The train looks good going around a loop. It just feels a little bit sad that it only has one car to go with such a large and powerful looking locomotive. Of course, adding extra rolling stock to the set would have made it much more expensive. And I think that the choice of an open top freight car was a good one because it's great for kids to play with. They can put anything in there. The sides allow it to hold on to small items, but because it's open, you can also put oversized stuff in there, even a big old stuffed animal if you want. I personally was mostly looking forward to pairing up this locomotive with the modern passenger cars. The colors fit together well, and I feel it looks good having the longer locomotive with the longer cars. The set also included this track alignment tool, which to me isn't all that useful. It just helps you to get your straight tracks to be straight to each other, but they go together just fine without this. This was a really nice train with plenty of track and a nice exclusive locomotive. I hope in the future they're able to come up with a smaller RC motor block in the newer 2.4 gigahertz style so they can bring back this locomotive again. If they don't, I think the collectability of this set is just gonna go up and up and up. That's it for my look at this one. I hope that you enjoyed this. Once again, sorry for the lack of the correct figures to go with it. If you have any thoughts that you would like to share about this set or if you have any other information about it, please do leave a comment below. I look forward to your feedback and I'll be talking to you again soon in the next video.